Alright guys, Marco pretending to be on a beach, alright, now, just imagine beach waters, alright, I'm not sure if you have a ton of money, or if you're poor, and many people that are poor get out of it, so don't worry, you don't have to always be poor, or you can have kids that will get you out of it, don't worry, alright, so, but if you're rich or if you have enough money to go to the beach or tropical beaches elsewhere or on a cruise ship or anything like that, just imagine being on the beach, just totally relaxing, letting the waves crash gently as you suntan or splashing around in a beach with gentle waves or if you like craziness, maybe white water rafting. Or if you like um, uh, swimming pools, or you like uh, water slides, by all means, imagine. It's the long weekend. Maybe you're already there. Maybe you're watching my videos, and you're already there. So, imagine the beach. Imagine the fun, fun beach. Maybe you usually go away for the, the, the long weekends. You're always going away for long weekends, but you have a lot of work to do. So just watch this video and imagine the beaches. All right? Imagine the sparkling water drinks that we have. In. Imagine if you were in Cuba, floating in a swimming pool, swimming gently as you grab a, a drink at the bar. Imagine, all right, so you get the point. Now, it feels like I'm a yoga instructor sometimes because my voice is so, th so, can't even speak. My voice is so soothing that I sound really nice. So I could totally be a yoga instructor. Now, the only thing is I have to learn yoga to do that. All right, uh, maybe I could be an aerobics instructor or maybe I could be uh, a personal trainer or maybe I could be... Uh, a dance instructor or maybe I can be uh, a rocket scientist no just kidding uh, you know there's many things that I could do with the soothing voice and the, the many things of knowledge that I've got stuck up in here all right so I could be a dancer well I am a dancer but I could be a dance trainer I could be a personal trainer all that now, I have no formal training, so I'm not sure if you guys know this about me, but I actually have no formal training whatsoever. I've never taken a single, I've taken one dance, well, I was in a dance troupe and I did rehearsals for that, uh, and it was Spanish dancing, so different than the dancing that I do now. And then I was in a ballet class, just one ballet class, all right, only one. And in that class, I, um, couldn't do the splits, so I kind of just gave up on it because I just couldn't do the splits and I was like, you know, I was 18 or 19 at the time, really wanted to do it, I really wanted to enjoy dancing, ballet, uh, not that I wanted to do ballet, but I really wanted to be a, a performer in the high end, so I thought ballet would be that, would be it. And Madonna took ballet and all the famous people that danced really well took ballet, but then I realized, you know, there's Kylie Minogue, who everybody says she can't dance. Obviously, she looks so good that she can stand on her tippy toes and shake her head or bob her head up and down in a funny way, and everybody would go for it because she's so pretty. So I realized not everybody can do the splits, all right? And then I realized I was a good dancer, and then I realized I could sing. Um, now, my dad's an entertainer. You could search Marco DC, dad, D-A-D, to see his videos. Now, I, I totally um, just fluked out because I believed in myself enough that I thought, you know, I'll give this a go. I'll try it out. I got a lot of insults, a lot of negative feedback from some people because they were jealous. Um, but I still kept going because I knew, you know what, I'm really good. If I love my videos this much, there must be something going on with them that is good enough. So I really enjoyed that. And then I started singing and dancing on YouTube. And that's the story of that, all right?
and I felt really, really good about that. I'm going to continue this vlog uh, another time. I gotta get going. Sorry. All right, bye, guys.